During his junior and senior years, Josh Gardner was known as one of the toughest, most determined, and elite wrestlers not just at RMHS, but in the entire state of Massachusetts. Amazingly, he did it all while overcoming asthma. Gardner's parents signed him up for both wrestling and football in elementary school to keep him active, get him in better physical shape, and overcome his struggles with his condition. What Gardner didn't know at the time was that something he started as a simple hobby to build up his lungs would turn him into one of the most gifted wrestlers in the state, competing at the most prestigious tournaments in all of New England and racking up multiple accolades. Gardner credits his success in sports to the realization that his asthma didn't have to limit him. Facing his problems head on allowed Gardner to overcome obstacles in his life from a young age, a motivating force that still drives him today. Gardner went into every match with the attitude that he would take home a win, and when he did. There it is. Gardner collected an impressive 80 wins and only 12 losses throughout his junior and senior years, including a 33 to seven record his junior year and a 47 to five record as a senior. Out of his 80 wins over these two seasons, 52 of them were via pin. Two of his five losses in his senior season were in tournament finals against undefeated Mike Pedro of St. John's Prep, a four-time state and New England champion, and the other three were at the elite All-New England tournament. According to his high school coach, Tom Darren, Gardner's greatest assets were his strength and agility, which gave him the versatility to match up well with a varying range of opponents with different skill sets. Darren also saw to it that Gardner attended elite camps to hone his skills. At one summer camp in Virginia, Gardner learned a reversal move termed the Gramby Roll, and another called a Standing Gramby. Both were made popular by a legendary Virginia high school coach named Billy Martin of Gramby High School. Gardner used the Gramby Roll often, and even hit the elite Standing Gramby once to the light of the crowd. With all of his successes, it's important to note Gardner didn't start his varsity career until he was a junior. He wrestled during a time with a series of strong upperclassmen, including two co-captains in the same weight class ahead of him. As a sophomore, Gardner wrestled at the 160-pound weight class and made the monumental transition to the 189 weight class for his junior year varsity debut. Yeah. From there, he wrestled in both the 189 and 215 classes, where he needed to rely both on his quickness and his strength. Gardner was patient, however, and once he made it to high school's largest stage, he wasted no time. As a rising junior, he finished second in Division II North and third in the Division II States, foreshadowing an even stronger senior year to come. His outstanding senior campaign was topped off with the state championship, which he won with a hard-fought 8-5 victory over Marlboro's Tom Lashman in the Division II state finals. Gardner had a chip on his shoulder during this match after he heard reports that Lashmet had been dismissive of any wrestlers he faced before the All-States. This made the win even sweeter in a match which he never trailed. He eventually secured the victory after three takedowns and two escapes. During his senior year, Gardner set the Rockert record for most tournament championships in her career with six, including five that season. The tournament wins include the Wakefield Invitational, Timberlane Invitational, Middlesex League, Division II North, and Division II State Tournaments. Wrestling wasn't Gardner's only sport either. He was also a first-team All-Middlesex League nose guard on the football team, where he translated his talents to record 6.5 sacks, second on the all-time RMHS single-season sack list. Gardner's low center of gravity and explosiveness served him well against the bigger guards and centers he faced on the gridiron. And Josh Gardner, right there on the play, makes the sack. During Gardner's junior year in 2000, his team won a Division II Super Bowl, something he describes as one of his favorite high school sports memories. In a telling tribute to Josh's character, when pressed for his favorite memories as a wrestler, the one that Josh cited had nothing to do with his winning. Josh reminisced about the time when his teammate, Tony Tora, finally earned a win after a losing streak. Gardner mentioned that Tora didn't have the raw athletic talent as some of the other Reading wrestlers, but he admired his unwavering ability to show up every day and work as hard as anyone else. Gardner said the moment in which Tora took home a win, the gym just exploded. 
For Josh, seeing Tora rewarded for all his hard work was a moment and a lesson that he never forgot. Gardner went on to have a successful wrestling career at WPI and looks back fondly at the encouragement he received from his teammates, his family, wrestling coach Tom Darren, as well as head varsity football coach Tom Kasperzak. He said the atmosphere in Reading was always that of both athletic and academic excellence, and the football and wrestling programs made him want to be the best all-around athlete he could be, an attitude that never failed him. It is with great pride that the Reading Memorial High School Athletic Hall of Fame welcomes Josh Gardner into its induction class of 2019.